Welcome to Dreamweaver Lesson 4, uh, Cascading Style Sheets. We're going to talk about cascading style sheets today. Um, we're going to do some different things and enter, get, enter some text and kind of really just get into what CSS styles are and are all about. So I'm going to open up Dreamweaver. You guys should open that up too. Get to our workspace. Get to your striped umbrella site. You've probably been working on your personal site. So get on your striped umbrella site. And you should see your root folder, your assets folder, and then those pages that we've created. And really the only work we've done much on is that index page. Okay, and so there's our index page where we created a banner and we did some things last time with linking, um, an email link, last updated statement. And so now we're going to go ahead and close this. And we're going to put some information into our spa page. So I'm going to double click and open up that spa page. And I'm looking at this. I'm going to delete this spa text I put in there. On the untitled document, I'm going to type in a document title. I'm going to type in the C spa. Again, we don't ever want to leave an untitled document title. And let's go ahead and let's put in our banner graphic again. So I'm going to click in front of home here and I'm going to go over to my assets folder. I'm going to grab the SU banner and I'm going to drag and drop that in front of home. And my alternate text is just going to be the striped umbrella banner. And I'll press OK. Then I'm going to click after the graphic and before home, like so, and I'm just going to press enter. And then I'm going to click after activities, and I'm going to press enter and get my cursor sitting right below my navigation. So now let's add some text. And I'm not going to make you guys type all this text. So we're going to go get this text from a Word document in our class files. So I'm going to go down to my File Explorer button, which looks like a folder. I'm going to click that. I'm going to DHS Shared. I'm going to Business Ed, Web Design 1, Dreamweaver CS6. And I'm going to go to the Unit D folder. And there is a SPA folder, our SPA Word document, that I can double-click and open up. And we're going to take this text to use for this page. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click and select all of it. You can also, there's a shortcut. You can go Control A, and that will select all the text on your page. If you didn't know that. Either way works. So select your text. I'm going to go Control C to copy it. And then I'll just go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to come back into my web page and I'm going to go control V, paste it, get that text inside of my website, my web page. Okay, and then you can see there's some, um, all, all the text is going to be exactly the same. Okay, and that again is being dictated by modify page properties and what you have set here. You know, so if I change this default font and press apply, it's going to change the default font of everything. If I were to pick like Arial Black and press apply, it's all going to be Arial Black. Okay, so to this point, we only have one style of text that we can apply to everything. Very vanilla, very basic. And, and it's designed to be that way because we don't want to have, you know, again, we want to be kind of generic so that our stuff is showing up on all screens all across the world because we don't know what, what fonts and things are installed on different people's computers. So that's good. But at some point you get to a point where, you know, we want to do some things where we want to have different types of colors different fonts, different sizes, 
and we want to kind of spice things up and make them better. So we end up where we want to, you know, change some things. But the other thing we're going to do, we're going to add a picture right here. So we're going to add a picture from our files. Now, sometimes you'll have a picture that you want to add that you have saved on your computer. And it would be easy to go insert image, go find it and put it in. But really, that's a ch good chance you're going to have a broken picture link if you do that. So I always think the best practice is, is to get that thing saved into your assets folder. And so we're going to get a little picture here from our shared files. So I'm going to go down to my file explorer again. And again, we're going to be in DHS shared, business ed. Web Design 1, Dreamweaver CS6, we're in Unit D, should name those Lesson 4, and then we're going to go on the Assets for Unit D, and there's a CSPA logo. Now, let's just right-click and copy that, place a copy of that image into our Assets folder, which is in our Documents, Striped Umbrella, assets just go ahead and right click I'm going to paste a copy of the C spa logo in there that way I know for sure it's in my site it's not going to break when I upload it because it's in my root folder it's not linking to it from some outside place which would break if we were to upload that folder and leave the C spa logo behind so I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver now I look in assets, I don't see it. And if I don't see that and I want to update what's in here, I can hit this purple swirl arrow here for refresh. And then I should see C Spa logo. And then I'm just going to click that and drag that and drop that in to where I want it. It's going to ask me for alternate text. I'm going to type in C Spa logo. And I'm going to press OK. And then I can place in that logo. I'm going to click in between the T and the picture and press enter. And I know this is legit because I, I drug it from my assets folder and in. So the linking is good. There's nothing's going to break. Everything should be, should be solid. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a cascading style sheet. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to make this a little fancier. We want to make some of our subheadings a little fancier. Um, and we, you know, we want to add some color, we want to do some things that make this not quite so boring. So I'm going to go over here to my little section that says CSS styles. And mine is collapsed, so I'm going to double click that. And I'm going to open that up and I can see here's my CSS styles. So I need to add a new CSS style. I'm going to go down to the little plus sign with the piece of paper. It says new CSS rule. And I'm going to click and I'm going to open that up. And all we're doing is we're saying right now, okay, for instance, C spa services, we want to do something special with that. So we're thinking like, you know, titles or something on our page we want to make look better. So I'm going to create a style called dot title. Okay, and that's what this style is going to be. I'm going to go down here and it says this document only, which you can do if you just want to do it on this web page. But maybe I want to apply this to the other pages in my site. So instead of that, this document only, you need to go make a new style sheet file. And you will have to do this in your assignment too. So I'm going to make a new style sheet file, okay? And I'm going to press OK to get that started. Now it says, save style sheet file as. What do you want to save this as? The type is a .css, okay? Well, this is for my Striped Umbrella site. So I'm just going to name this Striped Umbrella Styles. For your personal site, you're going to name it maybe Your Name Styles. And you're just saving a list of all the cool font styles that you've created that you want to apply. And I'll press, and it's going to save right here in the site root, Stripe Umbrella, and I'm going to press save. 
Okay, so now it's saying, what do you want this dot title to be that is going to be saved in your striped umbrella styles.css? Okay, well, how do we want to format this? So what font family do you want to use? Okay, so let's say we want to use Comic Sans. And we want to use a bigger font like, let's say, 36. And do we want to make that bold, bolder? What do we want to do? Let's say we want to make it bold. Italics, normal, what do you want to do? I'm going to leave that. How do you want to decorate it? I'm going to kind of leave that. But I'm going to change the color, and I'll make that color a, I'm going to go a dark blue. Okay? So this is this special style I'm making, dot .title, that's being saved in .css. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now, nothing happens, and you won't see anything happen, but if you go to this CSS button down here, and look at your targeted rules, you're gonna see now there's a rule called title. So I would select my font that I wanna apply that CSS rule to, and I would go down here, click, and I would find title and apply that style to that piece of text. Now you're gonna see up here, you have source code and you have, you have a .css code. Okay, here's my source code. Here's my .css code. My source code is my page code. Okay, that's what we talked about. We've been, you know, Dreamweaver's writing behind the scenes, right? My CSS code now is just this sheet of styles that I can apply to text or other things. It's traveling with my source code. If I go back to design view, I'm back in design view, okay? I've got my source code and I've got my .css code that I can use as a tool to enhance my, my pages. And it's attached to it, you can see now, because there's two sets of codes. Okay, so I've used that .title code. Now, I might come down and say, okay, what do I want to do for um, maybe my subtitles here? like massages and stuff, massages, facials. And in fact, let's do this. Let's take and do this. We're going to select these massages. I'm going to select those. And we'll look at another thing we can do in the HTML codes. That's real simple. It's simply a bulleted list that you can apply. Or under facials, we'll select the three different facials. Or you can do a numbered list. Okay, real simple ways you can create lists. You know, we should probably, you know, stay the same. So I'll change this back to the bulleted list. <clears throat> You'll notice it'll take and it'll single space those when they're in a list format. Okay, but we're going to create a special style for massages, facials, and body treatments. So I'm going to go over here now to my CSS styles. You can see we've got one cascading style sheet that's applied, tied to this page, with one style called dot .title. And you got to put that dot there. Okay, that lets it know it's a style. So I'm going to add a new CSS rule by clicking on the piece of paper with the plus sign. And we're going to name this one dot, dot .subhead for dot .subheadings. Where do we want to place this new style? Okay. Do we want it just this document only? Do we want a new style sheet file? Or do we want to put it on our existing one we just created? Well, we want to put it on this existing one that we have just created. So I'm going to press OK. And automatically it says, okay, dot subhead in striped umbrella styles.css. You know, what do you want to do? What do you want this to be? How should this look? You know, what font family do you want to use? Okay, let's say I'll use Palatino Linotype, font size I use, you know, I'm going to say, yeah, I don't want any of these. I'm going to go, I want to go uh, like 27. You can do that too. You want it bold. Yeah, sure. What color do you want it to be? Well, let's pick another color. I'll just go red. Okay, do you want to underline these, blink it? Yeah, I don't want to do it. Okay, I'm going to press.
press OK. Now, we have a new style, but it hasn't been applied. So if we go to the, dot, the CSS here again, go to the rules, now we have title and subhead we can apply to things. And what I like to do that's actually even quicker, if I select massages and I want to apply that dot subhead style to it, I'll select it, I'll right click it, I can go to CSS styles, and I can see what styles I have available. And I'll press subhead. There it is. And then I'll select facials. Right click, CSS styles, subhead. We got body treatments. I'll select it, right click, CSS styles, sub it. And there it is. And so I just, I've just created a style sheet, striped umbrella with CSS styles, that has two different styles attached to it. And so that's basically the trick of CSS style sheets. What do I want to do beyond modify page properties that I can then incorporate into here to make it look better or to add some, some tweaks, some color, some different fonts, some different sizes? That's what your style sheets allow you to do and, and to give you guys um, a little another tool in your tool chest to, to improve things on your website. So... One last thing I want to show you guys before we go is just a basic table structure. Your assignment's going to ask you to do that and just kind of the intro how to put a table in. So to insert a table, I'm going to go to the insert menu. I'm going to go to table and it's going to ask me, how big a table do you want to put in? And I'm going to put a table in with nine rows, two columns, I'm going to set the width of that to 800 pixels. And I like to set the border at zero so it's invisible. So it looks, so you'll see, you know it's a table, no one else does. And I'm going to press OK. And you're going to be asked on your activities page to put your class list together. Okay, so you're going to type period. You're going to type class. And this is a way that you can sneakily place things where you want them and position them and no one else knows how you did it, but they're just in this, these containers inside of a table. Okay, and so period one, period two, I'm going to click in these cells, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so these are my different class periods. And then I'll put in my class. So period one, I have web and graphic design one. Period two, I have web and graphic design one. Period three, I have a prep period. Period four, I have personal finance. Period five, I have personal finance. Period six, I have a prep. And period seven, I have business and personal law. And then period eight, I have a prep. So that's my class schedule. Now you can take and you can adjust the column divider so I can space things out. I could move this table in. I don't need it this wide. So I could grab the, the outside border and bring it in. And I can take period here and I can select this and say, geez, I don't, that looks kind of goofy. So I'm going to go horizontal center. I can center those. By default, they're to the left and they're to the top of each cell. But you can take any individual cell and you'll see a new, a new section pops up in your properties that allows you to tell it, hey, left, you could go right, you could go center horizontally. Vertically, you can go top, middle, or bottom, or baseline. And by default, they're at top. And in a table like this, vertically, you're just where you are anyways, because there's not a bunch of space or anything. So everything's good. So that's just a basic table structure. You have 12 this. Oops. Let's look around. You have 12 this. 
save changes to the spa. GPS. And I should be able to see then, here's that table. You can't tell it's a table. But it allows me to place text and things in an organized way without anyone knowing what I did. Okay, I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. Um, you'll see I had that warning pop up. You know, you need, it wanted me to save the .css style sheet as well as the source code. So we're saving both of those things. Okay, so now I'll close that spa page. And let's go open the index page. Okay, so here's my index page. I'll click on design view. The index page has none of that, does not have that CSS style sheet. It doesn't have anything like that. But the beauty of this, we made that striped umbrella styles.css file that has those two styles on it. So if I wanted to use those on this page, I can attach it. I just need to go into CSS styles, click the attach style sheet button. I'm going to browse, and there it is. I click, can click site root just to make sure I'm in my right root folder. But there it is, striped umbrella styles. Okay, I'm going to click that and press OK and press OK. And now I attach that style sheet to the home page as well. So now those two styles are available to me. So I could select the striped umbrella, right click it, CSS styles, and I could apply that title style to it, which wouldn't make much sense. Well, you can't read it. Same color blue. But I could do that. So I, let me select it again, right click, CSS style, so it's apply subhead to it. It applies that subhead style to it. So once I've created a style sheet for a single page, I can easily attach it to all my other pages, apply the styles to those pages. And then as soon as I, I come up here, I can even come up here in the code and I could say, you know, I don't want this color, number 003. I could change this style and probably the easier way to change it would be go right in here into title and say, hey, let's get a different color. We'll just do yellow. Okay, so now that color code changed. So now when I go back into my design, let's say I wanted to apply that to this now. Right click CSS styles title. It's going to be yellow. Now, it has also changed to yellow in my spa page. So if I open my spa page, it's yellow here too. So picture this, you have a thousand styles applied in a hundred different pages of this huge website you've created. All you gotta do is one step to change the font style, color, whatever you want in every single one of those hundred pages in a thousand times that you created that style. So. Close this and click yes to save changes. Close, click yes to save changes. Okay, so that'll finalize lesson four, cascading styles. Um, make sure you go apply those things now to your website. Follow the Dreamweaver lesson four assignment sheet. And you're going to work on your activities page and follow that rubric and incorporate the things you learned in this video. Thanks for watching.